Hello and welcome to another tutorial about my recording and mixing technique. In this series of videos I will go through some of the basic things I do when I'm laying down riffs from opening a new session to exporting to final audio file. Before we start I'd like to note that I'm no professional in producing and that these methods used are just what I prefer to use. But let us begin. The first thing I do after opening a new project is creating the necessary tracks I need to lay down my ideas. Obviously there's gonna be two rhythm guitar tracks which are hard panned. Left and right. After that I create a subgroup for the rhythm guitar so I can EQ and compress them all together. One track for solo guitar and one just in case I need an extra track. After that I load up Superior Drummer uh, with all stereo outputs. And lastly uh, Spectra Sonics Trilogy uh, which I use for my bass track. Now I'm almost ready to record. Uh, but first I need to check out uh, that my recording source is line input since I'm running my GX through uh, the PC sound card and uh, make sure that my rhythm guitars run through that subgroup over there. Now I arm my track for recording and make sure it takes in the right audio signal. Yeah, that's the guitar tone I'm going to use. But since I'm also going for cabinet impulses, I need to turn off the cabinet simulation in the pot farm. And finally we are ready to record the guitar track. And then the other rhythm guitar track. Now just by themselves those guitar tracks sound pretty horrible. So what I need to do now is open my cabinet impulse loader and choose my cabinet impulse uh, for that individual track and I'm using currently uh, the ReCabinet collection and for this piece uh, I chose uh, the Tangerine cabinet uh, with the SM57 mic uh, different positions and uh, experimenting with the sounds um, and just to get a rough idea how uh, that guitar track should sound like uh, when it's all mixed up. When using cabinet impulses uh, you must remember to load an impulse response file to each individual track uh, not like a subgroup or uh, any that kind of bus uh, so that you get the right sound. And here's what these guitar tracks sound like at this point. <laughs> <laughs> 